the lionfish, a fierce predator of coral reefs, normally found in the Indian Pacific area, but now it's invaded the Atlantic. It likes to gobble up all the little fish on the reef, and it has no natural predators. It's beautiful. This is the little uh, model of the red lionfish. It's got red and brown stripes, big flowy fins. I'll be showing you today how to draw this and how to paint it. The red lionfish is able to propagate very quickly, which is why its population numbers have overtaken most of our coral reefs in the southeast United States and in the Bahamas. It is very good eating, but you have to be very careful because at the base of these spines is venom. This is not a poison fish, but a venomous fish. The lionfish, a beautiful fish to draw and paint. We're going to be doing that today. For our drawing today, sheet of white paper, pencil with an eraser, then we're going to really bring it to life with some color. For that, you'll need your tray of watercolors, number four and number six round brush, your container of water, and we're ready to go. We're going to start off with our oval right here in the center. Make our oval. Now toward the back, we make our rectangle and then a triangle. In the front, also another triangle and find the center of the fish. Now to put in its actual shape, right about here we're going to make an arch because his eye protrudes. We're going to come in a little bit and then kind of come out like that. He almost has a beak. Bring this down for the mouth, come out again round it and come just behind there and up there for his gill covering. From here we're going to just make a little line right above there. We're going to come down, come up to here because he's got a little bit of bump on his back, down on the oval, hit that rectangle and come up on the triangle. The bottom we're going to do the same thing. Follow the oval to the rectangle out to the triangle. Now his fin is not straight in the back, it's actually a little bit rounded, so we're going to just kind of round it a little bit like that. For his soft dorsal, we're going to make like a half circle there for the anal, one that's down here, and a little bit for, forward of this, we're going to put another one in for one of the two ventral fins. For the eye, where we made this little, this little bump right here, we're going to make our circle. His eye protrudes a bit. And then coming off of here, we're going to make two lines. They kind of go forward and over. And these are going to be these appendages off his eye. We're not sure if that's to make him scary or what, but he's got them. So there's one, and then we fill it on the other side. And there's two. Coming off his nose, we have two forward facing like triangles and three of those off his lower lip. Right behind his gill covering, make a little bit of a line and we're going to make a big triangle. Go all the way up to here, right in front of the back here, come down, great big triangle there. That's going to be the basis for his pectoral fins. For his hard dorsal fins, and he has about 13 of these, 8 to 13. We're going to start here and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, that's about as many as we're going to see. And then starting at the point, go from the point and come down. And the next one. These dorsal spines have venom glands at the very base down here and there's a groove that the venom goes up so you touch these and you are really in for some poisonous pain. You don't want to do that. Now for the big pectoral fins starting here we're going to come up, curve back a little bit and come down right about to where our center line is. Another one and I'm going to start here and we're going to do one here, point it back, come up to that line, another one. These are really filmy, they're beautifully colored and the lionfish, he points these out so they become, uh, I guess you'd say perpendicular with the rest of his body and he corrals his prey with these. Okay, so now we have our Hard dorsal, soft dorsal, caudal fin, anal fin, one of the two ventral fins, 
and the, one of the big pectoral fins. Now we're going to use our eraser, get rid of some of these guidelines here. We can get rid of this right here and our line that showed how far back that went. Erase so that our back fin is rounded. A few lines through here and because these big filmy fins cover the dorsal, we're going to erase what we see behind it because these are in front. Now that really doesn't look like much of a lionfish now. We're going to make another line around his eye. But once we put in our paint, he's going to really come to life. Okay. All right, I've got my round number four brush. I'm going to start off and put that eyeball in because we're going to be covering that with some brown later. So I'm putting in his black eye. And I'm going to use some of my yellow and I'm going to paint in the caudal fin. Now this looks transparent in the water, but we can't paint transparent, so we're going to make it yellow and that's going to be the anal fin and the soft dorsal, very light, don't make it too dark, and one of the two pelvic fins. All right, now take your brown. All right, get some good water, get it to flow. We're going to start with making a, a line over the eye. We're going to start in the base of this. We're going to come over the eye and curl it down. And also from the eye, we're going to come out to that operculum. And another one, they kind of flow forward. Now each lionfish is a little bit different in its colorations. So they're each going to look a little bit different. Now when it comes to these spines, what I want you to do is you start with the brown at the base of the spine and then curve it as if it's going around the fish. See that? Come down on the spine. Remember, that's where that poison, that venom is. I shouldn't say poison, venom. And curve it as if it's going around the fish. And then we're going to make a few more lines coming up. This fish has wonderful camouflage. And he's so pretty, he is the number two most popular aquarium fish in the United States. Now for these, with the lines here, they kind of flow backwards like that. And we're going to put a few little ones on these appendages here. Also use it, and we're going to make some lines for the lips going back. And let's also not forget these strange looking, almost antler-like appendages. And we'll put some lines there. Coming back into the body, we're going to put, again, horizontal. Be careful you don't go over where you have the pectoral fins. I'm using my brush a little bit sideways, trying to show the line as it would come down this way. And a little bit there. Now let's use some of that and do the pectoral. The more you push on your brush, again, the fatter the line. So if I push down, push down, look at that. I only have to do a couple strokes and I get a really nice coloration in these big filmy pectoral fins. And they say they heard the little, um, it's like uh, putting some kind of a big barrier up and those poor little grouper and snapper can't get away and they eat them. And boy, do they have an appetite. They can consume 56 species of fish and they'll eat many of the invertebrates as well. They'll eat more than their own body size. Voracious predators. And they are wrecking havoc on the reefs of the southeastern United States. Not a good thing. We gotta go out and get them. They're good eating. All right, let's get some of this rust color now because we have these different colors. And using the tip of my brush, I'm going to vary the lines. You can make them real skinny, some of them longer than others. Look how this guy's just coming to life here. A couple lines on these, a little bit on the 
projections over the eye and a little bit right through here. We're leaving a little bit of white because it does have white in its coloration. You know, in some parts of the world they call these turkey fish and you can see that because of um, these colorations, the orange and the brown. It's almost like a turkey. But make sure that as you do this you are making it look like a fish and not a gobbler. So I'm just putting, again, pushing my brush down and getting these beautiful color variations. And I'm going to make it a little solid right through there. I want to get my brown again and outline the eye. It's white between the pupil and the rest of it. I also want to use my brown to define the nose a little bit and the lips. All fish have lips and this definitely this operculum which comes right up and we're not outlining we're just showing a little more definition and we need to also do that at the base and going up on each of these dorsal fins these spiny fins and boy you get you get um, stung with the venom of any of these and it's very painful and we're just putting in some shadow on the underside of these. You know, a little definition, a little shadow. You can do as much detail as you like. Now for the caudal fin and all, we're going to take our black and just using little dots, we're going to show some of the spines in it. And on the tail, it's like there's they're kind of even. So make them in rows as they go out. And a little bit of a ruffled edge at the edge there. And down here. And the same way right here. Uh, this is the anal fin. There's only one of these. And a little bit of a ruffled edge. I'm going to do that on that soft dorsal and again here just a few dots and they are transparent we're showing it um, to be yellow but they're actually transparent you can combine a little bit of that brown and black to get a little bit of a darker tone to it if you want to do a little more accent like I'm doing here and over his back maybe show a little points a little bit here on the nose mouth you know just when you have um, your difference in your values it really does come to life use a little bit we didn't get any of this rust back here and I think we got a pretty good-looking lionfish watch out he's a predator and I always like to illustrate with a pretty writing so I'm writing lion. Take some skill and some practice to get used to painting letters, but with enough practice you can do it. He's a glamorous guy. Got our lionfish.